I took a L, but tonight I bounce back. What's going on, guys? Hope you're all having an amazing day. If you guys are going through anything personal or any sad part of your life or whatever, put that to the side and enjoy this next vlog for the next 15 minutes. We are gonna find the fire, the heat. We're hitting up Plato's Closet. We are hitting up two Goodwills. I'm currently sitting outside of my dad's house. I ran over here for lunch as well as to do laundry. I actually come over here and do laundry because my apartment complex doesn't have its own washer and dryer. So I'd rather do it over here than going to like a coin laundry just because this is a lot cleaner. I know where, who's using it and whatnot. So right now I think we're gonna head over to I'm not sure where we're going first. I have to map it out and see, but today's gonna be a lit day, and let's get it, guys. So Goodwill is the first stop. By the way, I am breaking out the Burberry shorts today. They're honestly so fire, but they are a little big, so I might post them up. Super fire NASCAR from year 2000, double print. This thing is ridiculous. Vintage champion Cleveland Browns jersey. Reebok Florida Panthers. I don't think I'm gonna get this though. And then there was, what else did they have? They had this, Mickey. Look at this rainbow Tommy Hilfiger color block and stripe, size XL. This thing is crazy, looking like a popsicle. So that was a little dry, but the day's not over, the day just started, so we're hitting up Plato's closet. Let's hope we find something good at Plato's. After Plato's, we will hit up Goodwill and just continue our day, so let's get it. By the way, if you guys didn't see, I posted a comment on last vlog. I said that I think I'm gonna start doing live streaming throughout the week, um, playing Call of Duty, answering, doing Q and A's, um, and just different things. I wanna try to talk to you guys more, so I feel like live streams is like the perfect thing. I know a couple people were like, no, you shouldn't switch uh, videos, like you, you shouldn't do that, it, it's a bad thing. Honestly, I won't stop thrifting, it's just more videos. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a second channel, maybe I'll do a second channel that will be strictly for live streaming and gaming and whatever else I wanna do. Um, but I didn't really want to have multiple channels. I didn't want to be that guy that has eight channels that subscribe to this, subscribe to this. Like I want one main channel that has vlogs, has thrifting, has shopping, has just everything in my life. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a separate channel on that. I think I definitely am gonna start doing some live stream. I play Call of Duty all day, every day. If I'm not, if I'm at home, I don't have TV. I'm either watching YouTube or I'm playing Call of Duty. Um, I usually switch between Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, Modern Warfare. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like that. Again, I wouldn't be stopping thrift videos. So for the people that think that it's gonna ruin my my channel or whatnot, just added content. It's it's an extra videos, it's extra live streams. They're not gonna be long. I might do maybe two hour live stream or an hour live stream, get a couple games in. Like I said, maybe some question and answers about thrifting or just talking to you guys, you know? Just sit back, relaxing and chilling. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If, that, if you think it's a good idea, if you think I should do a second channel, if you think I should do it on this channel, whatever the case may be, leave it down below. All right, for the hats, we got this Obey snapback. We got this Falcons, New York, Volcom, Volcom. Nike, I think? What is this? Chuck. I really like these Adidas, but I've been passing them up, and the reason is, is the bottom it's not tapered so I don't know how the fits gonna be I might try them on though because these are fire we got a little bow I actually have one similar to this in a cream color way this is extra small though we're gonna pass on that another piece we've always been passing up this starter UF like zip up they're asking 16 for it green pinstripe adidas jacket vintage tags this doesn't have a brand, but the inside is so colorful with this design. They have these nice all pink suede Pumas in the pink colorway. Unfortunately, they're a size 13 though. Just found this Huff shirt on the back. FFTB, Fortune favors the bold. Not sure if I'm gonna cop this yet. It depends on if I find other stuff. 
Wow, look at this Star Wars shirt. If anyone is a Star Wars fan, this is for you. This piece is crazy. Diamond Supply collab with Crooks and Castles. Maybe I'll get this instead of the Huff. Super fire duffel bag boy from Crooks and Castles. Just found this super fire Ben Trill jersey, so we're actually gonna replace this with the diamond shirt and not cop that. We also found these Polaroff Lauren boots. These are a size 11. I'm gonna try them on for $25. They look brand new, so hopefully they fit me. So I ended up copping those Polo Ralph Lauren boots. Um, to be honest, in Florida, we're probably never gonna wear boots, but for that price, you can't beat it. They were brand new, uh, never been worn. So I figured if they don't fit me for some reason, then I'll just flip them to you guys. Um, I got them for like $30, I believe. So maybe I'll sell them for like 50 bucks. I think they go for 100 plus brand new. And they are Polo Ralph Lauren, they're not like, uh, polo assassin or anything like that. It is legit polo Ralph Lauren, so I'm sure that they're worth a Good amount. Well, I'll look them up when I get home, but uh, let's continue today's we're uh, hit up one more Goodwill then we'll go to thrift city which thrift city is where we found the ultra boost So many people are like seeing that video now. They're like yo where are the ultra boost like bro you slept they those things sold within the hour that I posted that video it's you sleep you sleep you guys remember last time we came to the thrift city we found two shirts but of course they there was like a minimum charge for debit cards of like five dollars and honestly i just realized i don't have cash with me today so i hope that we either find stuff that's worth more than five dollars or i hope that we don't find anything at all <laughs> first piece we find is this vintage new york yankee with the brown well, that was a little dry. We only got the vintage, I believe the brand is Stitches, um, New York Yankee jacket. I believe it's a size XL, um, but I'll try it on once I get home. I remember Supreme actually did a collab with New York and they had like the same colors, so I'm sure it'll be sought out for. For the last stop today, Goodwill. Super fire Pepsi sweater. Unfortunately, there's a small stain though. Polo Ralph Lauren Mexico, RYC, big flag, number two in Mexico. That was a pretty dry store, but we did find that Polo Ralph Lauren Mexico jacket. That thing is so fire. Literally has like branding everywhere. On the collar, it has RL11, it has the patch, super fire. So now I guess I'm just gonna head back home to my dad's house, pick up Captain, pick up my laundry, and then warp back home and show you guys what I got today. All right guys, we finally got back home and let's jump into the haul. By the way, I don't know if you guys heard, but these Burberry shorts unfortunately are too big on me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna try to alter them to make them fit me or if I'm just gonna put them up for sale. They are, I guess I wear a size 32, so these are probably about a 33 to a 34. Even though they do say a medium, clearly they run big. So if anyone is a 34 that would be interested in this, DM me on Instagram. I'm not gonna post them up for sale uh, just yet, but if I get some good offers, then I'll sell them. They won't go cheap just because it's Burberry. I paid about $20 for them plus tax. And I really wanted to keep them. Obviously, I love them. Like, I brought them out the next day I got them. Unfortunately, it was just too big. So I don't know if maybe I'll wear a belt with them. They are a bathing suit, but I did cut out the inner lining. So they're like just regular shorts. So again, if anyone's a 34 and that might be interested in these, again, it is the print. If you didn't check out yesterday's video, they're 100% authentic, legit. They look sick. But let's jump into today's haul. So the first jersey we got, I believe this is Cleveland Browns. Um, I'm almost positive it's Cleveland. I mean, I hope it's Cleveland Browns because it's the only brown jersey. So, shit, if there's another uh, football team that's brown, then I'm just an idiot. You can give me an L in the comment already. But it is a champion size 44. I'm not going to even attempt to announce this last name. So there you go. 
So this is a size large, even though it says 44, it says large, unless the 44 is large. I have not, I don't know anything about sports or jerseys. I rarely cop them, I rarely find them, but when I do cop, or but when I do find them, I cop them. So size large, number two, no Cleveland Browns anywhere, I'm guessing. I don't know if that's OG or, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments below. I could probably Google it and find out why this doesn't have any Cleveland Brown stuff on it, but maybe you guys can know next we got this size large and this thing is so fire i might end up keeping it's a little big though it seems like it could fit an xl for sure we have i don't even know what race car this is but honestly the graphic like look at that you don't even need to know what it is just because the print is ridiculous the whole entire sleeve this shirt looks like a nascar race car you better get paid with all the branding that you are rocking with this this thing is insane so this shirt you guys will probably laugh some might get offended if you like George Bush, even though he was our president like 10 years ago or 12 years ago. I don't even know. Oh my God. Every time I do a video, somebody calls me. Yo. I'm filming a YouTube video right now. Like literally I just took the phone in it. So let me call you back. All right. All right. That was my boy, Richie, the sneaker store. So. Again, some people might like this shirt. Some people will think it's funny. I honestly thought it was hilarious. I sent it to my mom and she died. So I'm gonna end up keeping this. I think I got this for a dollar. But as you can see, it says good bush and then bad bush. Like, I could not pass this shirt up. It is so funny, so fire. So I'm gonna be rocking this for sure. Next piece, this piece is fire as well. I know I always say fire, guys. I'm sorry. Like, South Florida, we say fire. We say dank. We say lit. Like my my vocabulary for describing isn't as good as paul can too i haven't been doing this for six freaking years i've been doing this for three months so if i say fire a million times maybe i'll start putting like a a counter checker right here how many times i say fire cha -ching, cha -ching, cha -ching. but we got this polo ralph Lauren in this mexico colorway gucci colorway if you're not feeling the mexico on the collar it has rl11 which i'm guessing is from 2011 we have Mex, and then number 12, I believe, or 15, sorry, Mex 15, going down the back. This is heavy. I wonder if this is reversible. This is not reversible, but this is heavy, so it's good for the nice cold winter. We have a big pony right there. We have Mex. Is this stitched in? Yeah, this is a patch right there. We have RL67. On the sleeve, we have number two. Or is that five? No, that's two. The uh, back, it has holes, like it's like a sailing. Oh, I didn't even see this. RL 2011 Ocean Challenge. This is a very nice piece, guys. So I will not be offering this for 30 bucks. Uh, looking at it, it's probably gonna be around like 60 because I could probably get like 100 for this. It has a zip up pocket right here under the MEX. To have your nice cell phone this one i want to do a little research on it stitches i believe is an old vintage brand and it's really rare to see this color new york yankee in like this oh i don't even know like a mustard yellow with the brown i'm not too sure maybe you guys can let me know again i'm not fun on sports i do like the yankees and i mess with the yankees but i'm not sure how come the yankees get to have brown because i have seen a couple like varsity jackets in brown so let me know in the comments below is brown part of their colorway is it like brown and navy or what is brown just vintage i do know that this is vintage 100 percent though and it says 2xl but i'm trying it on right now for you guys i would say it fits like a big x like an xl because the sleeves are kind of short on me if you guys can see like they're like perfect length and i usually wear a large but it's like wow this does fit super weird it's like big if that makes sense like whoever's getting this is going to be a big fit so I'd say about an XL, a large if you want that baggy look to it. Because I could easily pull this off to be honest. Like it's not big on me at all. Like it is big like in the sense of baggy. Like it's not slim fitting. But honestly that's what like vintage is. Everything is not supposed to be like that. And it's kind of like roomy. You know you can layer it up or 
whatever you want. So I think this is fire. Last time I had a Ben Trill jersey, it sold within, I think, 30 minutes to an hour of posting the video. But to be honest, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like it's giving off like a pinkish tint. Now it's not super noticeable, like it's only, like when I first bought it, I didn't notice it, but now that I'm really looking at it with my white light in the background, it kind of looks pinkish and it's probably because the first time they washed this, it might have bled a little bit. But as you see, we have the USA Bin Trill with the Japanese, Chinese, not too sure, don't roast me, letters. We have number 13 down below. We have the red, white, and blue pinstriping. This is a size medium, which is not my size. I find the firest things are not my size, man. I just, whatever. So we got 13 on the back. And yeah, I'm actually gonna hit up, I don't know if this is like wrong. I'm gonna hit up the guy that bought my last Ben Trill jersey if I could find his Instagram and like give him first dibs because he was super hyped on that. This. I think I'm keeping for myself. Duffel bag boy, Crooks and Castles. So we got him, he looks like he's like walking Louis Vuitton bags, like the bright red. And this also kind of looks like my boy's t-shirt. This is a size large though, in case if you happen to see it on the website or if I decide to get rid of it. Um, but to be honest, I really like this, so I might just keep it. This piece is so flame. I'm trying to see if there's a year on it. There is not, but this, anyone's a Star Wars fan, this is for you. Legit, the whole entire shirt is Star Wars comics, and it's like OG Star Wars, or I believe it's OG Star Wars, because look how young. That might just be the comic version. Again, don't roast me, I'm not, I don't, I don't know anything about this. But I'll give a close-up on like the whole entire shirt. This is a size medium, so shout out to whoever's copping this, because phew, this is ridiculous. Such a fire shirt, if you like mess with Star Wars. Another Polo Ralph Lauren, this is a size large. Looking at it, probably fits a medium though. So we have Polo Ralph Lauren, and this is like the orange, like peach colorway. We have yellow stitching, Polo Ralph Lauren with the three horsemen. New Polo tags, size, th or sorry, size. Number three on the right sleeve. Next, we have these Polo Ralph Lauren boots, and these are brand new dead stock. It is like the duck boot. These are a size 11. I plan on keeping these more than likely. I'm gonna try them on. I only tried on one shoe, and it was like very fast. So I'm going to try them on. Here, you can see the bottoms, brand new. Leather, polo, the belt buckle, duck boot. I'm gonna try them on, and if for some reason they don't fit me, then I will definitely put them for sale. Um, make sure you are following me on my Instagram, DITR954, and they will be up if I decide to sell them. If not, I'm gonna keep them for Colorado. Something to show you guys. I have some bad news. Um, a buddy of mine came over the other day and was gonna buy this True Legend jean jacket. And then he looked at the tag, and he looked at the inner lining. And I have bad news, guys. This is a replica. Um, I had no idea. It looks really good. As you guys saw, I mean, there's not really any flaws about this other than where it says row and seat. On real true religion jeans, it says the size, and I believe the row will be empty, but the seat will always say the size. And it didn't say the size. It says the size up here. So unfortunately this is I was like, well you guys are a consignment shop. I got a 1993 Polo Ralph Lauren hoodie from you guys for $14. Like, I don't think that you guys price stuff like you know. So she's like, oh, well you only paid $30 for it. Why, why would it be that? So I guess that's my fault, I'm not really looking at it. So if anyone wants this jacket, it is a 3XL, but I guess it could fit a 2XL. Um, Give me a DM. If I don't, if no one hits me up within 24 hours or if I don't sell it on the website within 24 hours, I'm just gonna take it back tomorrow and return it um, and just get my money back just because I don't really feel like it's necessary. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I know you guys are wondering about the beard. You're like Emilio, it's December, blah, blah, blah. Why isn't it shaved off? 
from the guys out there that have a beard, you know how difficult and how hard it is to shave a beard. I've been growing this out for like six months, a half a year. So it's like to just shave it, it's like, eh. like I want to, but it's like I don't. So I don't know, maybe I'll do it this week. Maybe I'll do it for the new year because the new year, like I'm already gonna let you guys know, 2017 EMC or 2017 Emilio is about to be lit. Like we're gonna be taking things to new levels. We're gonna be doing things differently. Not differently, but the same, if that really makes sense. We'll still be doing the thrifts, but I'm gonna be posting daily. I know I, sometimes I skip a day. Uh, I'm gonna be doing more better production. I'm gonna get a mic hop every time I'm talking into the mic. Everything's gonna be legit. So just wait for the new year. Also, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get it, guys. Oh, no, nobody, oh, nobody. Always on the fucking job. I got no hobbies. Got the city fucking with me because I'm home.